how did I come to open this jailhouse door? And the answer is as simple and complex as a question I asked my mother in a cafe over six years ago. I knew about Sinalis, which is Sinalis is the Lithuanian word for grandfather. I knew about Sinalis' heroism before the war when he fought as a partisan in the woods in Lithuania against the Russians and had been told many times about his bravery at the end of the war when he rode a horse and a buggy that held his older sister and his three children over mine bridges through bombings and fires and ultimately to safety. But in the cafe on the Upper West Side of New York, I finally sat before my Lithuanian mother whose war story had very gradually won the compassion and sympathy of my Jewish grandmother, who was the matriarch of my family. Um, her story was the dominant war story in our lives. We didn't talk about the people who visited my Jewish grandmother uh, with numbers tattooed on their arms. We didn't talk about the extended Jewish family members who ended up in the Shoah Victims Database or simply vanished off the face of the earth from memory, from conversation. Uh, in the cafe, I asked my mother the stunningly obvious, and I always say um, it, is, it is my great embarrassment that it took me so many years to ask the question, which was, what did Sinalis, my grandfather, actually do during the war? My mother said he was in the police. I said, do you mean under the SS? And she said, yes. I had known my grandfather well. I loved him. My own father was a reader, a philosopher, a quiet man, kind of absent-minded professor. My Lithuanian grandfather was loud. He fished, he hunted. I was a tomboy. He took me with him. I adored him, and he adored me. When my mother told me uh, that my grandfather had in essence been a collaborator, and at that time I certainly knew nothing about this door or the fact that he had been actually um, given a position of some importance, uh, two visceral feelings ran through me. The first, which has stayed with me to this day, was that I had to find out if he had brought harm to anyone. And um, it was an overwhelming uh, feeling and has compelled me continually and um, even with the publication of this book has not ended. Secondly, I thought of my Jewish grandmother, Rachel Tregoop Gabus. Uh, here she is, she's on the right hand side here is the young beauty that she was. Um, she, uh, this was taken some years after her family left the pogroms of the Ukraine, first for London, then for the United States. And here she is in her 80s. She lived to 104, keeping her own house until two weeks before she died. And she was my favorite family member. Um, so the second feeling I had uh, upon my mother's delivery of this information was that I was grateful that my grandmother was no longer living because if she had known this information, I felt that it would have destroyed her. <laughs>